for both guys. Uh, you know, it's pretty back and forth there. They take the lead with just over three left on them. Um, get another three. Then you guys, I think, have like a 13 hole run or something. What, what do you think spurred, spurred that at the end? Um, Stanley, yeah, I think it was just, just you know, having to just grasp the moment and just and lock in on, on defense is what it was. You know, they were hitting a lot of threes, and we were giving up a lot of three balls, and we just had to keep our composure and, and lock in and get good shots down the stretch. Oh, um, yeah, biggest thing Stanley said was uh, composure. You know, we was able to kind of understand the moment we was in. You know, they were hitting a lot of tough shots, but, you know, we didn't let it affect how we was playing. And we just kept, you know, pushing, kept going, and, and I think that's what led to the run. And obviously, Devo's a real good guy. He gets ejected yeah. with 14 something left. And I, I guess Chris, you really picked up the slam. How'd you guys react to that, Chris? Especially you. Um, we know we know how vital of a piece Devo is to us, especially on the uh, defensive end and on the offensive end. He makes plays for us, so we knew we all had to kind of step up a little bit. Um, Stanley did, you know, everybody did in, in certain ways, and. Um, you know, that's that's what makes our team, I think, pretty good. Um, we're still learning how to play with each other. But, you know, I think the roles are being filled and chemistry is, is, is going up. So, First, with Jalen Williams missed some time there, looked like he might have rolled his ankle, uh, came back in there in the final stretch and had a couple big blocks, a couple big baskets for you. Just what that say about him and, and just your overall thoughts on his importance to the team? Yeah, yeah, no, it just shows how tough he is. I think, you know, it doesn't matter how hurt he is or if he's tired, you know, he's still getting in better shape, but even when he's tired, he's going as hard as he can. So I think it just shows how tough he is. Um, yeah, it just definitely shows how tough he is. I saw him actually roll it um, on the closeout. So um, we tried to tell him tighten it up, but he had to step out for a little minute. But the fact that he sat out and came back shows you definitely how tough he is. And then with the, with the three-point defense, is there anything that you guys can pinpoint on that? Is it is it a technique thing? Is it slow getting out, or is it just kind of you know different for different guys? Um, I think today, you know, it was definitely a couple, um, you know, mishaps on on the defensive side. But I think for the most part, we was kind of there. You know, they were just hitting a lot of tough ones. Um, like I said earlier, we didn't really let that you know get us too down. We just kept playing, kept fighting through. So. Thank you. Well, I was going to ask the same thing about three-point defense, yeah. just because mm. that's been mm. such an emphasis. What did they do? Anything in particular? Or did just the hot night. You know, I mean, you got to give them credit. You know, they stepped up and, and made some shots. They got some good shooters, but at the same time, you know, we just got to lock in more on our game plan and, and execute. You know, not not letting them shoot threes. Them did, uh, did a good job moving the ball. You know, um, they moved it side to side, and sometimes that that opens up the, the floor a little bit. Um, but even still, I feel like we was there. We weren't like two open threes, you know. I think there was always a hand there. But um, at the same time, it is something that we, we got to focus on, and the coaches are making us aware of that. So we should get better at it. CJ, hey, lights. Uh, what did you figure out that you were adding on tonight? Was it after you hit an and one jumper? Was it after you hit the flip layup? Or <laughs> when was it when you figured you had it going tonight? Um, you know, my teammates did a good job finding me today, um, as they always do. I just, you know, my mindset today was to be a little more aggressive. Um, I talked to Stan earlier before the game. Um, I think I was just thinking too much out there the first couple of games. So, um, yeah, just took more of aggressive folks on offense and then make sure I was locked in on defense. Scotty? Yeah, for both guys, J.D. flirted with a triple-double and I was 17, eight, nine assists. What did you guys think of this, the influence that yeah, I, I think he just he just um, playing with him. You know, it's just it's real comfortable to play with him because you know he's always going to be in control. And <clears throat> with you know playing with a threat like that, you know it takes it takes pressure off of other guys too. So you know just moving without the ball and, and you knowing that he's going to find you, it's just it's a good feeling to be out there with him. Well, um, yeah, one for you, Stanley. What, what, what did you think of Chris's game and just the lift? We, have, we know he can score, but 26 off the bench is pretty good. What did you think of his performance tonight? No, yeah, he was he was unbelievable tonight. But I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by it at all. You know, coming into the game, I knew he was gonna. I knew I kind of knew he was gonna um, have a game like that. So, you know, it's just it's just fun playing with playing on a team with, with great players like this. And you know that, you know, any given night, someone's gonna do something special. You, you played 31 minutes, so it's like starting, I guess, but. 
Yeah, I know you started at Miami. Yeah. What's it been like coming off the bench? How have you adjusted to that? Um, it just kind of takes me back to my freshman year. Um, my freshman year, we were really talented at Miami. Um, and my role was just to come off the bench and, and bring energy. I was a spark plug. So um, that's kind of what it feels like. Although, you know, I do play um, a lot of minutes if I'm playing well. So um, I just try to embrace the moment and produce while I'm out there. And my teammates, you know, it's, it's fun playing with those guys um, sure. while I'm out there. Are you going to come off the bench if that's the way it keeps playing out? Uh, I mean, that's that's up to coach, really. But um, I don't mind coming off the bench. I actually get a chance to see the flow of the game before you know I, I head into the game. So, coach, you guys, you had six guys in double figures tonight, twenty-one assists, to just five turnovers. Uh, how well is this thing starting to click for you guys offensively? And just how good it feel to have kind of a complete team performance on the offensive end like that? You know, it, it feels good, but I mean, even sitting here now, after you know those numbers, I still feel like we left a lot out on the board, you know, including myself. You know, missed a couple bunnies, so I, it just shows us how much room we got to improve. But you know, it's good that that we are where we are right now. Three and zero, it's a good feeling. Coach, either one of you, Jalen had seven assists tonight too. He's a big guy. I mean, what has that surprised you at all? His his passing abilities. No, nah, coming in the summer, I, I noted that he was probably one of the better passers for the big man that I've seen um, in my college years. So I definitely expect it. Um, you know, he got he has eyes everywhere. He makes the right passes. So um, definitely not not surprised by that at all. Final question, Bob. Hey, Stanley, you know, coming from South Dakota and then major, you, I'm sure you can relate to these Northern Iowa guys, like how they were feeling. And they've got a history of pulling upsets. They, mm-hmm. I look at they being 25. Uh, Power five teams in the last 15 years. <laughs> they do it once or twice a year usually. Um, did you get a, you know, just what did you think of their performance? And did you get a sense for how hungry they were to play an SEC team? And- yeah, yeah. I think they were just playing real free. You know, they were playing with no pressure, so they were just letting them fly from from wherever. But you know, they had a game plan, and and you know, they played well. So I mean, it's a, it's a good win for us for sure because we think that that'll be a future NCAA tournament team. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate it.